That's the time for showbiz. And Ms. G has joined me. Hello, Ms. G. Hello, Israel. So, um, you, I, have you followed, you followed uh, what we do for love, or things we do for love back yes. in the day. And you know that they have tried to make a younger version, Yolo. which is Yolo. Yes. And so it's gone through the season, and this is the se fifth season. Oh, really? Yes, already. And uh, they're trying to add some new faces because people keep growing. Yeah. And, but they yeah. need to make it very youthful and uh, something that would appeal to the teenagers. So, yesterday, the fifth season was premiered and this time around uh, the US Embassy has come on board uh, oh, wow. the population census have come on board you know a lot of people have come on board and Noella was there yesterday and she spoke to some of the people the work that has been gone um, that, that has happened in this season um, artistically from our side and of course um, you can see that there are new talents who have also come on board and, and they, they took a lot of pains to get you know some really key characters that that would also take this to another level so the role of the national population council in ghana is advising government for improved and sustained quality of life and that is how we come into yellow because improved quality of life is for everybody and that is why we are championing YOLO because we all only live once. How has the series developed you as a person? You are preaching re uh, good reproductive health uh, to other uh, you know adolescents but how has it developed you? How have you learned from the series? All right uh, I was I was say I was study and say I'm on a higher moral ground but it has opened my eyes to the reality understand now it has made me a positive role model personally it has put me on the pedestal where I have become, it's like it has given me superpowers, now I have to give back. Well, this season is slightly different in the sense that uh, the earlier cast that we had have sort of grown, they have become big brothers and big sisters. And so we thought we should bring in some young ones who are now teenagers. Uh, so this, this part of the story is set on a school campus. So you have dormitory life and then teacher-student relationships and students boy girl relationships all going on but all this uh, at the same time we still have some of the old cast Cyril Emily uh, Drogba Jane and all the drama that we're going on still going on and escalating to new levels hey you the way I mean you eh? Eh? I get you the way I go power you like a power generator <laughs> All right, so I'm sure a lot of people are excited about this yeah. season as well. And it, it's exciting to see that, to know that uh, Ivan Kwashiga, who mm -hmm. actually did the first one, Things We Do one, For Love, is mm -hmm. the same guy who's directing that's this true, one. That's true, that's true. It tells you how much uh, Ivan has made over the years. Oh, not so much <laughs> what he has made, I think. I mean, he's, the, he's, he's, he's the impact is also had, yeah, you know, on yeah, a lot of people yeah. over the years. But Daughters of Glorious Jesus are 30 this year and decided to stage a concert. They've been speaking to the press about the intention. Anything that you are doing in this world, you have to do it from your heart. And do it well. If you are able to do it and do it well, the Lord will also bless you and bless you. I want to say that our 30 years celebration is not just about us, and it is not about accomplishment, but it is about celebrating all the people through whom God has brought this far. Our mentors, that is Auntie Mary, the Tego sisters, Reverend Kusibe, the late Reverend Kusibe Kong, and all those people. Friends, family, and fans across the world, the celebration will be massive and it will be unforgettable. So I want to take the opportunity to invite you all once again to join us and support us and help us as we do this to the glory of God. I don't fool me more grown for a what do you do so masu well who more grown see now sunny free what they fear now be with Jesus. They've been in uh, the ministry. industry in the ministry for 30 years mm. and uh, they're still looking that's young. young. Mm. It means they probably started when they were teenagers. Yes, they did start when they were teenagers from uh, their local assembly. And I know that one of them celebrated her 50th quite recently. So it looks like, uh, you know, they've kept yeah. themselves so yeah. well. 
But the African space is so excited today. It's not because uh, we haven't heard of international deals, but this is an exclusive deal that a Nigerian songstress, Tiwa Savage, got from Universal Music. You know, every time we hear of deals from Universal Music, Sony Music and all that, mostly they are distribution deals. But yeah. this is an all-exclusive deal. So Tiwa has had to part ways with the Mavens because she's going to be recording uh, using the infrastructure and they're going to be distributing for Tiwa. And so it makes her the first uh, African female, people say, to have an all-exclusive deal. But uh, Tiwa has been speaking about it. We also know that she used to back some of the stars back in America. So maybe this could have also instigated her all-exclusive deal. Right. But here's what she had to say. I'm at the Universal Building. Um, just signed my deal, uh, first artist deal, and um, just met with Solution. Incredible moment, got to play music, he loves it, and um, this is a new start for me. Um, so yeah, it's a great day. Oh, what does it mean for me to become part of the family here at Universal? It's like a dream, obviously. Um, but more importantly, it means that I'm part of a legacy, I'm part of a, a, a huge, a huge engine and um, it's definitely an honour to have an artist like me um, from Nigeria doing, you know, Afrobeat music which is still fairly new to the rest of the world and um, it's exciting. Well, congrats to Tiwa. Exactly, and uh, you can imagine how excited Don Jazzy is because he's been saying that, look, when you work with him and you're tired or you want to go, he's ready to let you go. And just recently, I watched an interview where he said she's done so well. She stayed and overstayed with the label. She's done seven years with them. So here's what he posted, and here's her response as well. Uh, so uh, Don Jazzy says, our darling Tiwa Topper, mm -hmm. uh, we at Maven would like to say a very big thank you for being such an inspiration to all of us. A friend, a sister, it's been an epic journey with you and we are very proud of what we have achieved together. As you start this new chapter in your life, we want you to know that we are solidly behind you and can't wait for the world to see what we have always believed you can be. Your jersey as the first lady of Maven will forever be yours as we do not intend to fill that position with anyone else. We love you from the bottom of our heart for our heart and pray God's blessings continue to follow you. Amen. Amen. Hashtag um, Maven. Yes, and uh, she had some... Okay, so she had a response. Yes, Let's very see emotional response. Right, so it's, uh, She says, when I got pregnant, I was nervous to tell you, so I decided to tell you at the airport when we were traveling for a show. I figured you couldn't really say much in public place, in a public place, but then you told me you already knew and had already been thinking of a plan to keep my brand going while I took some time out. I was shocked because you weren't uh, faced by the news. You had already started making plans. I recorded the Red album while I was heavy and I would fall asleep during... Okay, so during production, I guess. Okay, during uh, sessions and you and the whole team would crash in the studio right there with me till I woke up again and was ready to finish recording. Ah, mm -hmm. there was nothing you would hear about me that ever made you mad. No outfit was too crazy, no headline was too controversial for you to handle, no crazy outburst, no nothing. If I said today uh, wasn't emotional for me, I would be lying. Please promise me that our relationship will never change. I only want to make you proud of me. Not every superhero has an S on their chest. You are my superhero, Don Doro Bucci, seven years, seven. The number of seven, the number of perfection. I love you always and forever. Maving for life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Don't, you're good. <laughs> You actually said that. I was going to say, don't say that. Okay. Yeah, father, what's it? Yeah, well, it's a Nigerian slang. What does it mean? You don't know the father. No. Ah, give me a sweet girl for you. Ah, you just tell me. How do you say the father in girl? I'm a chick. And that's what you have said now. The father. But why do you, why you say I, I shouldn't have because said? Because I, I, well, it's a slang, like, you know. That's cool. That's cool, eh? Yeah, the father. Hey. Dear, dear father. Anyway, so whilst we're thinking that Patapa is done locally with his co Mana challenge, there are international folks who are also interested. And Israel thought that was his girlfriend. Ah, that's that, that's yeah. not their girlfriend. I saw the video. For. I saw the video. And I was a wondering. new one who maybe is appealing. Okay, let's let's watch that one. This one who has been doing. <laughs> Papa, papa. 
Okay, she nailed it. She did? Yeah, she did. But yeah, yeah, too. She did. No, I, I told you I'm doing my own thing. But um, I gave you some homework. Yes, I was so asking tomorrow. about. Mm -hmm. No, you should tell me. Okay, so you asked I was her. asking about uh, Rashida Black Beauty. Rashida. We're having hair from her mm -hmm. since she, you know, she had the ham limelight and mm -hmm. everybody else said, oh, okay, Rashida, you know, the latest celebrity in town. And what happened to her? So, so she had a baby and we were trying to get her to speak to us because before she had the baby, she told us how life had become difficult for her. And so we are waiting to see what it is now that she has that baby. Maybe she would hit stardom soon. Ghana. Again. We can mix that. Tomorrow, I bring you a list of stars. people who have made and unmade. You remember Tupac? Ghana Tupac. No. no. Allah super. <laughs> oh, super. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Allah super in my way out of the studio. All right, thank you very much, Ms. G, for bringing us showbiz. That's it. Uh, for those